Hey Team Alberta fans, we're here with assistant coach of the wheelchair basketball squad, Carla Tritton. Carla, we just finished up with the Team Alberta uh, Quebec matchup. Just give us some thoughts on the game today. It's a hard game to play. You're looking at a squad that's been together for a number of years. They're defending Canada Games champions, coming back, returning a number of players to come back. And we, hey, returned, we returned one player. So mm. it's a bit tough for us guys coming on. back. The but the uh, future's really bright for us. The game is on. We have a lot of kids that are going to come back for one and possibly two more Canada Games. So for us, it's a learning experience, but it's also we're here to compete. We're not going to roll over and we're not going to let anyone go over top of us. We're going to be we're going to give you a fight for 40 minutes of every single game. Fantastic. So for some of our friends and family back home that don't quite understand how wheelchair basketball is different than regular basketball, just yep. give us a bit of a rundown there. Sure, wheelchair basketball is a sport that has reverse integration and allows able-bodied athletes to play within a, in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. So if you walk around, you can still come and play. Uh, athletes with a disability, depending on this, the level of their disability, will depend on their classification system. So in wheelchair basketball, we have a 4.5, being the highest level of ability, to a class one. And in some cases, we have a 0.5. And in that system, you need to have 15 points on the floor. Mm. So you vary within any of those points. Interesting. Okay. Um, and I see the athletes have special chairs. They're a bit different than what the regular wheelchairs mm -hmm. are. Just explain that a little so bit. So a, a sport chair will have either one or two back wheels, which allows you to tilt and lean and back up into your chair and lean back so you're not going to flip over. So safety reasons for those. And the camera on your chair allows you to spin and pivot um, much like you would in, in stand-up basketball where you cut hard off, off someone and pivot. And turn. Mm. So this is a mixed tournament format for the Canada Winter Games. Is there a ratio of girls to guys on the floor at any given time? Um, it, it comes down to points. The points. So girls, um, based on girls, you are allowed one point down. So for all of our girls, um, we have a couple. We have a 4.5, so she plays as a 3.5, and two girls that are 2.5s, and they play as a 1.5. And so when you have that kind of a ratio, it allows you to play different varyings of points. Okay. Um, some of the some of the shouts that you were yelling from the bench um, included "lock them down." Can you just explain what that term means? In wheelchair. The, you have the advantage when you can get in front of another chair, you can actually stop their tr stop them in their tracks. Meaning that they can't push forward, they actually have to back up to get around you. So much like two vehicles stopping together, you back up into someone, they're not going to move. So it's much like that in wheelchair. As soon as you can stop a chair, your momentum stopped, and now you got to get that going again. Okay. So it gives us the advantage. Okay. And last question: A lot of the athletes have got the blue hair going or the blue accessories, and we know that that's Alberta's color. But is there another story behind? that that was the kids just being sort of rallying behind the team and them really just so excited for their first opportunity to come to Canada Games and compete and, and show their pride for our province which was we all thought was really really neat mm -hmm. some really bought into it and did their whole hair some did a little bit everybody had a little bit of blue going into opening ceremonies they just they really felt Alberta pride and it was really cool to see fantastic thanks so much for your time Carla awesome thank you